So the first song we're doing, um, we haven't done for a while, and and even as we were putting the putting the set together, I'm like, I don't know where it fits other than the other than the beginning, but it doesn't necessarily feel like a beginning song, and even still, it doesn't necessarily go in a line with um, with what Jace had shared. But I know just through confirmation that this is you know what we're supposed to do, and so um, and so that tells me that there's uh, but as we go into worship, that we need a heart shift this morning. Can you guys agree with that? Like, I need a heart shift sometimes too. Um, and the song is, Lord, I need you. And how often do we, do we, even though we know, we know in our heads, we know that we have to rely on him, that it's not by our own strength. But there also has to be a heart shift where we really believe it that it's not by our own strength, it's by his strength, it's by Jesus in me, right? Like, Lord, I need you. I need you for everything. I need you for every breath. I need you for every step, right? And so that tells me that there's, that there's a hardship that needs to happen in this room. So, um, so if you don't mind, would you stand? We're going to pray, and we're going to worship. And I just want you guys, um, so there's those two, those two themes, the themes that that heart shift of, of trusting him with everything, believing that you don't just want him, but that you need him and finding rest in that. There's, um, whether it's letting go of pride because we don't want to need anyone. We want to, we want to be able to be strong and do it ourselves, right? At least that's me. But that there is peace in needing him and knowing that he is there. You don't need something that's not going to be there. It's not a financial need that won't be there. It's a need that will always be met. He will always meet you there, right? So I want you to think about that, of God's goodness, how he has never let you down. He will never let us down, church. Father God, we just come to you this morning and we turn our hearts to you. We believe that you are good. God, we believe that you are good. So God, we come before you with open hearts, open ears. We are here listening to your guidance, God. God, we're going to lay those needs at your feet and expect your goodness. You are so good and we praise you. God, so we pray that our worship this morning would just be just be a beautiful offering given up to you. In your precious name we pray. Amen.
shakes the whole earth with holy thunder, who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, that you would take my place.
so, so kind to me. Sing it out. Oh, the overwhelming. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, binds till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I could don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God church with full faith. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. Sing that out church. Sing it out. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after church. was I had this picture of, um, of old roots being torn out of the ground, old rotting roots that have been sitting there for a long time, unattended, damaged, abused. You can't go in and plant a new seed over that and expect it to grow and, 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 and do well, right? My gardeners in the room are like, yeah, you've got to go out and pull out all the old roots. 
before you can plant new good ones. And I, I feel like during this song, I could see God doing that. He was pulling out all those old roots and he was planting in and, and cultivating, growing these beautiful, strong, deep roots. And those of you that have been, um, I'm going to give you an example of this. Think of, of those of us in the room who have, um, were maybe abused by parents, maybe verbally abusive, or maybe there's been a, a lineage of drugs in your family, of alcohol in your family. Maybe there's a fear of a sickness that's reoccurring in your family. You're afraid that it's just a part of who you are. It's not a part of who you are. You're a child of God. You have his DNA. Amen? We have his DNA, church. We have his roots, not the roots of the generations before us. The only roots that we get to keep from those generations before us are the ones that God wants us to keep, the good roots, the ones that he has been working on, because they're not always all bad, right? Some of us don't need new roots. We just need, we just need to water, and we just need a little fertilization, right? A little bit of that seaweed water. You guys, gardeners know what I'm talking about. You guys can laugh at me. It's all right. It's new to me, so trying to act like I know what I'm talking about here with plants. But I also think about even further, not even just for us personally, if that doesn't hit you personally, then I want to challenge you to sing this over, over our culture because we have roots of fear and anxiety that have been planted. We still have issues with, um, with racism happening in our culture. in part because of the roots that had been planted, because of our past, right? And so God is taking those bad roots out and he's planting new ones. And so if that's for you, if you're in this room and you're like, I need that, I need, I need new roots, I want the future generations of my family to have that. I don't want them to be held down by my past, to be held down by my family's past, by my culture's past. Amen. So uh, I don't need, think this needs to be said, but I'm just going to say it for those that don't know it. Our altar is always open, too. If you need to lay something at the feet of Jesus, if you just need to lay at his feet and cry your eyes out, if you just need to say thank you at the feet of Jesus, it's open.
children, and the children, and the children, may his favor be upon you, and a thousand generations, and your family, and your children, and the children. Sing that out, church. May his favor, may his favor be upon you, and a thousand generations. the next person next to you. You don't have to look at them to sing it over them. They can just know you're singing it over them. If they're comfortable with it, you can lay a hand on them as you sing it over them. But I want you to sing this blessing over each other, church. more time. 